everyone coming to you live from the comedy capital of the world schaumburg illinois it's time for another episode of hear nothing see nothing say nothing i think is this episode 12 i think so. 12 or 13 okay awesome maybe lucky 13 maybe one of those it's so lucky we forgot which episode it is man well it is indeed a lucky day because we are joined by a very special friend who has not been on the show before yep. kevin welcome thank you uh, have you listened to the podcast before? I have not. Okay. So I personally don't like Phil, so I want to not hear his voice as much as possible. Okay. <laughs> That's right. I've got unfortunate news for you. You're trapped in a basement yeah, with him I'm for the next... I'm here nothing, okay? Did you hear about that? I'm here nothing. That's the one thing you... Maybe you can try the whole say nothing, too. <sighs> what the fuck? All you know? right. This is off to a really nice start. Um, yeah. Kevin, welcome. Thank you. What do you do, Kevin? What are you, what are you about? Um... Well, I have a very boring job that I work uh, in a warehouse where I send emails to uh, electronics vendors all day when I try to get them to return product. But otherwise, in my free time, I play. A, I like to play video games. Okay, what are you playing currently? Um, Far Cry 5. Okay. And this game I just got on Switch called uh, Cluster Truck. Well, that sounds cool. What's that? When you, uh, you have to get from point A to point B, jumping from truck to truck. It's a physics-based game, so there's a lot of, uh, a lot of obstacles in there that can mess you up. So it's, it's like a new game? Kind of newer, yeah, I would say. Is it like The Matrix, the second one, where they're like on top of trucks and fighting? And no, nothing like that. It's literally you're jump. It's literally jumping from truck to truck. That's literally all it is. No, uh, there's no enemies or anything like that. Huh. Except for the road. Exactly. The floor is lava in this sure. game. Right on. Are there any games you're looking forward to? Uh, the new Smash Bros. and the new Mario Party. Very cool. Yeah. I think I saw a trailer of that video, jumping from truck to truck. Yeah. Oh, oh no, no, no. That was uh, That was an ice video. Of immigrants jumping from truck to truck. No, never mind. No, that was that was a bad joke. I don't know what you've seen. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Kevin, you want to get out of here? I would love to. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, I was trying to build it up so it's like like to the bursting point to where you guys just, you know, get fed up with me. Because sure. <laughs> speaking of getting fed up with me, you know, say nothing is gone. That's that's why. Say, uh, yeah. R.I.P. I I I, I didn't know how we were going to structure this. Or I didn't think we needed to. Is oh, he more shit. here? Because he's literally <laughs> saying Fuck. nothing. Yeah, but. he actually is. Um, we're just we're just he's too shy and he's hiding under the table, and we're just trying to get him the fuck out of there by roasting him. Exactly. He's here in spirit. Yeah. yeah. John's always with us. I like to think, like Jesus. So I think I interrupted. Pronounce Jesus actually. That, ooh. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. Not, he's um, well, honestly, thank God that whole Messiah thing worked out for him because he was a shitty carpenter. Is that right. true? Yeah, that's what I've heard. He tried build. He built me a shed once. It just turned out like shit. Oh man, fell over instantly. And I don't, I don't get the whole like people keep saying the second coming. You know, I'm thinking like that. That's either like a really bad, uh, like excuse of like a like the Me Too movement. Yeah. Or or like he wasn't like nailed to a boomerang. So how's it a like, second coming? You know, magic. There's lots of magic involved. Yeah. Um. And it's my understanding that your son was recently converted. He's on the path of righteousness now. Don't. <laughs> we're, we're not, we weren't going to talk about that. Oh. Okay. No, well, we, we are now, though. That's right. No. No. Uh, Ga- Gavin thinks it's a really cool thing. His uh, he gets he gets driven to school by a really religious lady, and uh, we wanted to thank her. I, I I don't even remember what Kelly got her. I think maybe maybe like a donut shaped as a cross. I don't know. Aww. What, that, what is that? Just like two long johns put together. Yeah. Oh. And the inside is you know. When you poke it with a, with, with a spear, That's right. yeah, it's then, red oh. coming out. <laughs> 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 the body and blood. Yeah. No, but it sounds, sounds like a more streamlined communion, right? Yeah, yeah. I um, yeah. I don't know. He he came he came home with a medallion, and I'm like, no, no, there's no way. <laughs> Not in this house. <laughs> Not in this house. No way. We are a house of learned atheists. L- luckily, he lost it. So. I was I was very glad. I mean, I told him I'm like, dude, like Lord of the Rings is such a better fairy tale, <laughs> you know. So, like, dude, and uh, yeah. I guess would you say him losing his medallion would be a miracle? Kind of, yeah. I mean, I, 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 yeah. I was then, thinking about that. Yeah. That's com- pretty profound. Com- yeah. I mean, I mean, it's you know, you, you got to compare it to some other miracles like losing that medallion. What 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 good does it do? Well, it it. Like prevents the whole family going mad. That's and then true. It's much better than just like, hey, dudes, like, yo, I can walk on water, man. Wait, I can, uh, I can walk on water. All right, all right, yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, right, what, what was the point of that? Like, was is there a storyline to that? Uh, he's a miracle worker. 
Yeah, but what what miracle is walking on water? Do? I, I thought it was just like, oh, I can moonwalk on water too. Uh, yeah, I think that was more or less it. His friends were out fishing. He just walked over to them. And they're like, holy shit, people can't walk on water. Yeah, right. This guy's magic. I mean, why can't you like break dance on clouds? Why can't you do something cool like that? I I don't think the world was ready for it at the time. Or is that like the? I think that's what the second coming is cut of the uh, of Jesus Christ of yeah, of yeah. like the Bible or something. The unedited version. Yeah, maybe. The unabridged edition of the Bible. Uh, we should get the Pope on the show. Yeah, do you have Pope? connections for the Pope? Yeah. Ask like, Gavin. Like the Pope, our dealer? Or no, no, never yeah. mind. I'm actually going to the Vatican like next week. Are so, you? Yeah. Are you? Really? No, I'm not. Oh. No. Yeah. Funny yeah. story. My uh, my geography teacher was telling me that uh, he uh, he actually went to the Vatican, and it's such a small country. He can you can literally run from side to side, and from you'd be be to be in and out of it. And uh, one of the guards there actually threatened to throw a spear at him if he if he tried running across the Vatican. Yeah. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty pretty strict about shit. Like, um, I think I was talking about at that July Fourth party about I think I was saying like how like in Europe like places of like uh, royalty or like museums they're like a lot more there's a lot more like idea of respect so there's yeah. no fucking around in there at all. Mm-hmm. So like, I'll okay I'll be honest. I did something fucked up, and uh, I did two things fucked up, actually, on my vacation. No, um, when I went, because I thought, it, I don't know, I'm like, my great aunt was in the Holocaust, and we went to a concentration camp. I think I mentioned it on an episode before, mm-hmm. and they had a pile of all the shoes burnt from the ovens, and there was like uh, like ashes and glass, and I'm like, I don't know. My great aunt was part of this, so I just like took a little bit of ash and yeah. put it in my backpack, and I think it's still there. Hmm. I don't even, I should have put it in a plastic bag and maybe. Probably, yeah. That's yeah. a weird souvenir. Now, yeah, would that right? be disrespectful to vacuum that up? Yeah, I, d- I don't know. I mean, you got to clean it up somehow, though. And you can't smoke it with the glass in there. Exactly. You know? So, I don't know. It's And then the other thing I did was I went to... Okay, so I... Uh, it's a long story, but there's this awesome cartoon that I loved growing up. It made me want to name my band. It's named uh, Pond Clucks, which just translates to Mr. Inkblot. <laughs> and it's like pretty much like a psychedelic Willy Wonka. Yeah. And there was a castle where the all the outdoor scenes in the all his movies, there's like four movies, all the outdoor scenes were filmed at that place. And it's actually a royal king's castle. It's kind of like it, it like it was only one filming spot. You know how, how like the, the Overlook Hotel in The Shining yeah. is just one spot in Colorado, but the rest of the movie was filmed in New York. So I'm like, oh, well, we're in this town. Let's just go to this castle. So we go there. And I wanted to... Uh, Take an awesome picture there. They had a sh- they had a tree there that it was the first tree planted in Poland, and it's like as wide as this fucking house. It's fucking huge. It wow. has a plaque on it. So I'm like, and in the background you can see the castle. So I'm always the guy that fucks around on vacation, gets in trouble. So I'm like, yo, I told my brother, I'm like, can you take a picture with me, or, or can you take a picture of me hanging upside down from a branch? And he said, no, I want to be in the picture. So my mom's taking a picture, and ins- she ha- she got a new phone that she doesn't know how to work. So instead of hitting focus, she just hit picture. Yeah. And it was perfect timing because I hang upside down like a bat, and the branch broke. <laughs> so I'm like mid-air, about to hit my head on the concrete. And there was after that, there's an old lady running after me saying like, You're breaking royal ground. Get off it. That is the king's tree. And like she, she got like the fucking, like, the, I, I don't know what it would be. Um, comparable to here, like what I- don't they have like CIA agents on like White House grounds or what is it like FBI uh, Secret Service Secret Ser- yeah it was like Polish Secret Service on the grounds that huh. were like gonna go after us so we hid in a fish house real quick so That's yeah pretty fucking interesting <laughs> yeah. I didn't think someone would be I didn't think you'd have Secret Service uh, on you after over a tree but that's uh, that's interesting yeah right yeah did you say it was the King's tree. It was like yeah, it was on it was on the same land that the castle is on. Is it? So it was like royalty. Does Poland still have a king? No. Okay. But it's consi- But it's still like you know, um, I don't know. It'd be like breaking off the arm of like some, I don't know, Lincoln's fucking chair in a cabin or something. You know. So, so other countries need to learn to have like higher security. Right. And it's because people are breaking their trees and stealing their right? ashes. Um, yeah. Just being a, a goodwill ambassador. To our friends abroad, um, yeah, very cool. So, where have you worked before, Kevin? Uh, my first job, uh, I worked at Chuck E. Cheese for like seven years. <laughs> What'd you do there? Everything. 
I would fix games, host parties, get kicked in the balls while dressed but, up as the mouse. <laughs> really? Yeah. Were you dressed up as the? I would dress up as the mouse. Oh. Yeah. How, do, do you have to control the eyes separately? No, the eyes the eyes don't move or anything. But oh. the hardest part is not talking. Like my first time, they told me don't uh, don't talk to anyone when you're uh, when you're in there because you don't have Chucky's voice. Some kid just walks past me and says, "Hey, it's Chucky." And naturally, I just say, "Oh, hey, what's up?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the kid started crying. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, my first time. I yeah. Also, first time I dressed up as him, I had these really just shitty glasses that my lenses would pop out out of nowhere, and I'm getting dressed in it out of like in a rush, and the second I put the head on, both lenses pop out, oh, so I'm doing no. it completely blind. So I got to walk, walk through this sea of kids without seeing anything. <laughs> Tripped over a couple of them. It was a, it was a bad day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What was that the worst day? Or did can you remember a time where it was just absolutely shitty? Like what what made you leave Chuck E. Cheese's? What what ruined the dream? Uh, beside, well, you know, the only the only perk of working there is that you get free uh, free birth control because once you work there for seven years, you never want any kids. <laughs> um, that's some, that's good, man. Yeah. I'd, Really, what made me leave? Because I moved, I actually moved from uh, Lombard to Berwyn, so I had I had no car, so I kind of had to I kind of had to leave. But really, it was it was the hours. I I worked like twenty five hours a week, so I barely got any money at all, mm. and it just it wasn't worth it. But uh, it was a good job to have when you're in high school because when you have no uh, no rent or bills to pay, it's actually pretty decent money. Sure, plus all those cute kids. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know that's. That's your that's your scene. That's not so much mine. Sure. Yeah. Um, we used to have like this. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if you know where it's at, but the, the Chuck E. Cheese on Roosevelt, right by here, is uh, had a Chinese buffet right next to it. We used to have like this uh, this tour bus of old Chinese men that would go to the buffet and stand outside of the Chuck E. Cheese windows, just smoking cigarettes and pointing at their kids. <laughs> <laughs> Creepiest fucking thing in the world. Uh, did they ever come in? Never came in. It just it just looked like a sea of like. Of Chinese uh, pedophiles looking but, at them. <laughs> Their bus dropped them off. They exactly. Go from Chuck E. Cheese to Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Ugh. I want that kid to wear the costume. Yes. Your yeah. little girl. How much for your little girl? Right? Yes. No, I, uh, my, my, my buddy had a, he, he's, he still has the job as the mascot for DePaul. Yeah. And he, he, he gets some goofy shit. Like, he has to go to, like, uh, you know, like, there's certain seminars or certain, like, school outings where he has to go and he'll like sign goofy autographs like a graduation or something yeah but the i think the coolest thing that he said he did was uh bl- he played with the blue man group oh, when, nice. they, when they came to DePaul. which i don't know how the fuck you do that if you're just like doing gymnastics and flips and dressed up as what a demon i wish i had that kind of experience my experience is more like i had this one kid i'm about i'm about 5 10 and there's this one kid who was literally half my height and he ran straight at me and headbutt me in the balls. Uh, <laughs> were you in the costume? Or? I was in the costume. And then you sounded like Chucky. Exactly, right? exactly, yeah. yeah. Wait, what does yeah. Chucky sound like? Like pretty much you have ever inhaled helium. Okay. Yeah, 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 one like mo- that. yeah, one moment. I'll be back. Yeah. I'll be back. You guys can talk. All right. Bye, Phil. Bye. Are we like usurping his position now? Uh, apparently. Man, right. everyone just... Podcast, the first ever recorded podcast. Q yeah. was Coo. it the birth control joke? Do you think? I think so. The, yeah. He just <laughs> well, right on. I'm going to keep going interviewing you if you don't mind. Uh, that, that's fine. And Phil's going to miss out on all this growing and bonding. Exactly. And it's, uh, it's we're just icing him out. Right. It's one powerful by one. stuff. Oh, shh, shh, shh. he's coming back. He's coming back. Yeah. Little this... does he know, I was actually I actually came here to destroy the podcast. Right. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Is there a hole in this balloon? No, no. Here. What do you mean, Bill? You don't know what Chucky sounds like? What the fuck is wrong with you? God damn it. (laughs) (laughs) I haven't known Haleyman in eight years. So, uh, this fucking guy doesn't know what Chucky sounds like. What the fuck? You prick. (laughs) What the hell's wrong with you? That is not what Chucky sounds like. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Uh... Is it natural to get this lightheaded off of helium? I think so. What, am I a clown? Do I amuse you? Do I make you laugh? What the fuck? Oh, man. I don't think I can do any more. Yeah, I'm done. Not with that. (laughs) So, so Chucky sounds like a monster. Pretty much, (laughs) Like, just the the product of a nightmare. Funny story. They actually, before I quit, they changed the person who plays his voice is now the lead singer of uh, Bowling for Soup. Really? Yeah, that's the guy who uh, plays Chucky now. That's... Cool. Plays Chucky's in, voice. in Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah. For what, like commercials and stuff? Yeah, he's actually the voice of Chucky now. Oh, 
Oh, that's that's that's, that's a cool fact. Yeah. yeah. I know, yeah. Oh, I was gonna say, can you pull your mic like just have it uh, maybe like three inches from it, like oh. how we? Yeah, sorry. Is that good? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Good. Yeah. We'll we'll find out during editing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so cool. So. So yeah. Oh, that's right, Gavin's birthday party. Yeah, Gavin's birthday party. Uh, how did it go? It was cool. Uh, yeah. Um, I think I was saying earlier, like, uh, we had one kid who ha- is allergic to cats out of like fifteen. So you know, fuck him. He gets to stay outside right. in the ninety degree heat. Um, and uh, sounds yeah. reasonable. Yeah, I mean, uh, he was the kid I stood up for when uh, the lady threw dog shit at me. And so, that's how he repays you. Yeah, that's the by karma. being allergic karma to your cat. Flows, right. And no, n- I'm gonna throw some fucking ice cream cake at you yeah. if you come in here. But he's not the one that's converting Gavin, right? That's someone else. No, no that that's the kid who um that kid was torturing the cat the whole time. The one like <laughs> pro Catholic is <laughs> jump around torturing. I wonder where that anger is coming from. You know, it makes you think. He's gotta gotta go to church, right? Get some Jesus in him. He got some cool presents. Uh, he got like this. I've never seen a bigger like Tommy gun, Nerf gun. Yeah, it's. Probably like five hundred bullets. The, the the biggest bitch about it is finding all the darts. Yeah, they shoot it because there's so many. No. I know they still made him that big. Still, yeah, it's he can't even hold it because he's small for being like he's eleven. Yeah, and he looks like a seven year old. And he had he needed like three friends to hold this Nerf gun with him. That's fucking nuts. <laughs> so, oh, I don't know what they're training him for these days, man. Right, it's ice as shit. He's got to go to church. Well, they say get yeah. him young, right? Yeah, so. And did you did you guys ever see that ISIS rapper? I have not. No. Yeah, th- there's there's a serious ISIS rapper, and it's like some scary shit because the like it's very uh, I don't know what the word is like ISISified. Yeah. So, so so it's very like trap bass mixed with like Saudi Arabian dance music. Hmm. So I don't know. It was a while back, but it, and it it was just really goofy to see and take seriously. Like, yeah. Uh, we're gonna have get thrown into a panic over a fucking rapper. That, that's interesting. Actually, I didn't think something like that would ever exist. Yeah, but yeah, the the, the party went pretty well. We had a shitload of pizza. Nice. So was, was my was my like invitation like lost in the mail or something? I <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know I don't know man like Gavin. I'm a hoot at, at, at children's birthday parties. Oh yeah, dude, you got the experience. With I know. Kids. I worked at Chuck E. Cheese for seven years. Yeah, and then he went to all those Chinese buffets. He, Gavin and told me the story the about Chucky talking to him when he wasn't supposed to, and I kind of. Like I, th- I didn't, I didn't want to bring it up, Kevin. Like, there used to be these kids, and that would, you know, would like yank on my arm and stuff. Yeah. So I would always bring them in for a hug, and I'd whisper in their ear, "If you don't stop fucking yanking on my arm, your parents are gonna leave you here and get divorced." <laughs> wow, Chucky! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I made several kids cry. <laughs> was it in the helium voice? No, it wasn't. No. It was in my actual straight talking voice, but no one could prove it was me saying it to them at all, though. So. You know, good, good luck. The the one I can't stop, I can't get this th- like thought out of my mind. Every fucking time I went to Chuck E. Cheese, and I forgot which one I went to. I think I think it was like maybe Displays or something. But every fucking time I went to, like ev- there was at least two fucking games completely covered in either piss or oh, yeah. like some kids shat themselves in it. I've had to clean that stuff up so many damn times. Yeah, <laughs> we had this one kid who literally dropped trow and squatted in the middle of the floor. Wow. Yeah. Good for him. And since I was the closest one to it, there, there, I was the one who got called to go clean it up. Did you wear the Chucky hands? No. At least for sanit- to be sanitary? I should I should have. Did they ask the kid to leave, or what do you do? They they do nothing. Really? Pretty much, yeah. They just say, oh, well, pretty much it happens. Uh. My, one of my old managers uh, was saying that she used to have to clean up shit off the walls in the bathrooms and stuff. Yeah. People come, people coming in, smearing it all over the walls. Yeah, I don't understand that. And and you know, I got into a hu- th- that's funny you bring that up because I was saying how like I'm not on really good terms with my brother recently. Not gonna mention why, but I was telling him uh, how uh, because uh, we were talking about like family shit and how um, I'm not getting along with m- my aunt is a huge cunt in my family. Yeah, Wait, we is, all have we all have one aunt that's like that. Is this story leading up to someone rubbing shit on a yeah, wall? Yeah, yeah. Okay, because because right, what tell happened us about your aunt? Well, what, what happened is he's like, dude, we should just we should just fucking like. Have somebody throw a brick through a window. I'm like, no, we have to be cool with her. Go to her on the holidays, and then I'm gonna pull like a '90s homeless man, lean up against the wall, diarrhea all over the fucking wall in <laughs> her nice mansion. You know, she lives in a really nice townhouse, and that, that my I know my shit isn't gonna come out, so that'd be really. And he's like, and I'm like, you know, here I am trying to amuse him to get on good terms, and we got into a fucking two hour argument about why it's called the '90s homeless man shit. He's like, dude. 
Is there a trend? Yeah. What the fuck? Like homeless men still shit on the wall these I mean, days. I never, I've never heard that expression before. Yeah, I don't know. It, I just, I have like these philisms I come up with. I would have just given her upper decker instead. Yeah. I, I, what is that? I don't know that term. Inside the bowl. Yeah, it's is when it? you, it's when you shit in the tank rather than the bowl, so that like, when they flush, the shit goes through. Oh. So you're placing, so you here you are shitting in your toilet and you're thinking you're flushing it away, but then more just comes in. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I, I thought it never goes away, like you're feeding it with the water. I don't know. I've never done it, so that might be something to oh, try. Oh, man. Bill's got a bathroom. Dude, I know. totally. Yeah, man. Now uh, now I got to go. I'll, I'll be right back. Yeah. What? Just kidding. Not um, even, not even on, the, are you talking about the wall or the upper decker? Because I want to decide. You'll how find how out. Dealer's sound, choice. I want to sound how big of a bully you are, Bill. You know, it's just a 90s homeless man thing. 90s homeless, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, cool. I'm not going to do that to your bathroom. Okay. Uh, and I don't think you should do that to your aunt's wall. <laughs> is, I mean, that, is that what Robert's thinking, argument was? Like, no, hey, don't do that? No, no. He His argument was, why is it called 90s? That was literally the argument the whole fucking time. Why is it called 90s? He's like, is there an, uh, does, do, do like homeless men text and look at, oh, what's the trendy way of shitting in yeah. someone's bathroom today? So that was the argument. Did this way. happen during the nineties? I, I I think it happened more frequently in the nineties. I remember oh. going to the bathrooms. There was a lot of wall shits in the nineties. I don't want. I'm glad I didn't grow up where you grew up. Okay, <laughs> but that was not my experience. Yeah, I, I I mean I mean because it made me think as a kid. I'm like, holy fuck! Yeah. Like honestly, it scared me as a kid thinking like, you know, do you just like lose aim as you get older? Like why why would somebody shit on a wall? You it's know, play a mental thing. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I, I mean, don't know. I, I would think you'd have some kind of some something not clicking for you to be able to wanting to reach inside the toilet, where you just you know produce the waste and then rub it on the and then rub it on the wall. Yeah. See, but at Chuck E. Cheese's it makes sense, but anywhere else it's just disgraceful. I think I remember kids shitting on the ski ball. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Thing, <laughs> which is a good way to cover oh, it up, since those balls kind of look like a dried up shit. Yeah. Sure. Oh yeah. man, mm. I had there was this one kid. He uh he was he must have been still wearing diapers or something. He shat his diaper and it started running down his legs. So <laughs> I had to literally go on a shit expedition and clean up all uh, clean up any excrement I could find. Yeah, that's fun. It's like I, a scavenger hunt. Exactly. I actually had to go in, in like into the like the sky tubes and everything like that. Wow. So of course they send the fattest uh, employee they have there to go into these narrow ass tubes uh, that are full of children to go. No, dude, I remember that. I remember that like every McDonald's play place too. They'd fucking shit in yeah. the tubes. Oh yeah! It's like this is not fun anymore. Like, oh man, there's a lot of stories of people getting sick from those ball pits and stuff. Yeah, all oh, these kids peeing in them. My mom and yeah. dad would never let me go in them because of that. Well, I guess my mom's a fucking asshole, and we got some shit to sort out. Why'd you make me go in the ball pits? Because she's a terrible mother. Yeah, I mean, look <laughs> who she raised. You. Yeah. Look who she raised. Yeah, yeah right. I know. Terrible work. She really dropped the ball on that one. Yeah, yeah. look at look at what the fuck I become. It's all your exactly. fault. This cocksuck. No, but. I, uh, I I that's that's a weird thing too is that when I worked for a I used to work for DCFS and be a transporter. Yeah. Most depressing fucking job ever. Oh, I don't imagine. Cuz cuz you're just there's literally you know like the worst fucking parents ever, so like a crack addict and then like his kids and you have to one person drives the crack addict or hopefully they don't got to deal with them, you know, maybe put them like in the back of like a cage in the truck. Yeah. And then you drive the kids. And all we, the me- same meeting place was always the same meeting. That it was that pl- you know on uh, like North and Mannheim maybe. Yeah. That play place there. Yeah, yeah. It was always that. That was always the meeting place. It was weird as fuck. Maybe he found <clears throat> comfort in the tubes. Yeah. Maybe who knows? Probably found something else up there. Yeah. Yeah. It was too. It was so depressed. Like you had to find some kind of fun in the job. It'd be like like I'd pick up the kids and they were like already crying. Like oh I don't want to meet dad. I'd be like. I'll give you something to cry about, and it blasts the black metal and we're going <laughs> 80 miles an hour, you know? And they're like, okay, I'm ready to meet Dad now. Yes. Please get me out of here. I'm sorry about what I said about your mother like doing a poor job raising you. That's yeah, it's a very sweet thing. I top it off, right? You've got the paternal instinct. I, I got the t- DCFS experience. You know? That's right. And I'm, I just want to make it perfectly clear that I am not sorry for what I said. Okay. So, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> if anything, you're more exactly. confirmed, reinforced. It's exactly. a work in progress, you know. Uh, yeah, I'll say it again. G- she, Gavin's oh, teaching me. You know? Yeah. Oh, dude, that's beautiful, right? Uh, what does that mean that you're just incompetent as a parent then? If Gavin's the one teaching you, right? Yeah. Man, you bring up a valid point. Yeah. Well, I want to hear more about Chuck E. Cheese. How is the food there? Terrible. Terrible. You Terrible. Say. 
Really? Yeah. You know, like I said, seven years there, I uh, you kind of start to develop a hatred towards the food. Sure. Yeah. I uh, I used to have to make all these off item menu item off off menu things just so I can actually enjoy a meal there. Sure. Yeah. Uh, do they do they still serve booze? They do actually. So any fun stories about parents getting tanked and then shitting like everywhere in the bathroom? Uh, not to, not in my experience at least. Um, I've been told off by several people because I was asking for their for their IDs because they ring up the they ring up the beer and alcohol you you have to punch in their punch in their birthday for anyone doesn't matter who. Mm-hmm. So I used to get yelled at by a lot of grandmas and grandpas for making them walk to their car to get their ID and stuff. Why would they not bring their wallet with them? Yeah, weren't yeah. expecting to spend any money, I guess. At Chuck E. Cheese? I guess, yeah. I guess they're uh, relying on their relying on the parents of their other grandchildren. Got you. Yeah. I remember I uh I got uh super drunk one time in high school and I w- I got kicked out of Chuck E. Cheese because we were we went there to try and see if you can mosh to the band <laughs> there. Sure. And yeah, they they kicked us out immediately. But then it worked out very well for you. No, no. no. It's and it's hard to mosh to that band too. Yeah. yeah. No, what are you gonna do? They 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 don't like bo- they don't like bitch and complain like most punk bands in between <laughs> songs, you know. Yeah, I, how are the live shows? It's just that creepy like animatronic shit yeah, behind yeah, like <laughs> that's a what curtain. I'm about. Yeah, I actually read online they're actually gonna start getting rid of those things now. Really? Yeah. yeah. Why? I guess there's just changing the times now. K- kids want the holographic Tupac now. You know, that'd be so. I I I would love a holographic Tupac. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Or like a holographic Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. With that horrible voice. That'd be cool. That would be. I want to go back to Chuck E. Cheese now, relive some of my childhood. Yeah, you you were talking about the food. I remember getting really, really fucking sick when uh, my ma always wanted just mushroom. And Ew. they were like always, like we when we got it, it was they were like all expired. I'm yeah. surprised I didn't fucking hallucinate, you know. Oh, I believe it. We used to, um, you like uh, we just have like several boxes of mushrooms there. Like ones that are specifically meant for the salad bar because they're like the freshest white ones. Yeah, you always knew, like what stage the mushrooms were in by where they where they'd be going to either the salad bar or as they got brown and wilty, they'd always go on to the pizzas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, just oh. P- plus you know like, I mean I-, I would assume the general idea most kids just like plain cheese. Exactly. So yeah. mushrooms are probably gonna be the last ones fucking used. Exactly. So yeah. So quick quickest to expire, right? Yeah. Exactly. So. Man, your mom. She really did a number on you, man. Right, yeah. man? Yeah. The fuck. How is your mother? Uh, she just came back from uh Minnesota cuz she has some weird uh they they don't know what it is. Okay. Uh it's I guess it's kind of a personal thing, but I don't know. It's like um her the left side of her face is paralyzed. Yeah. And she has a swollen tongue. It's like three times swollen normal, and her throat. She when she talks, it sounds like two deaf people arguing. Did she have like a and stroke recently or something? The, the, well, she said that it was a stroke, but they really can't. There's like a few details that don't classify as it. And I keep telling her, I'm like, dude, it's fucking stress. Yeah, it's stress because she's a nut job. Like two gallons of coffee in the morning, and like when when I when I come over, she's like, oh, let's just come over to talk, and I'll like come down, like like we'll talk. And there's usually like a third person. And the whole time it's just me and the third person talking and her just like running around the house like a fucking chicken with no head on. Yeah, that and sounds a lot like my gra- how my grandma was. She was like the same way. Like just bad anxiety. Yeah. You know? She must have like restless leg syndrome or something. Yeah, I she like workaholic. Does she every year it's the same oh, I'm finally gonna watch a movie with you when when I retire. I'm like <laughs> You've been saying that since I was five. <laughs> That's yeah. the goal. Yeah. It's her dream retirement to yeah. watch a fucking movie. Yeah, right. She has low standards. <coughs> you can say yeah, that, right. And yeah. Yeah. If that's her idea of, of relaxation, of, re- of retirement, is just watching movies. I mean, she, maybe it's like. I kind of appreciate the simplicity of that. Right. She'll yeah. never, never retire. No, she'll yeah. never retire. Um, and uh, and I know exactly what she like because, you know, usually. Like I'll, I definitely got a shitload of anxiety from being yeah. raised by her, and it's like I know it's anxiety because I think I don't know if I mentioned it before. Like I, there's like three months. Okay, I physically fucked up my stomach, but that but it affected and like I I went to a therapist and he's like, dude, stomach issues and anxiety issues are hand in hand. Oh yeah, and I they'll affect it. each other like completely one hundred percent. And so uh, like one of my buddies, I, I I think he he was fucking with me. Or maybe I read it wrong online, 
But have you heard like the whole apple cider vinegar thing? No. Well, um, it's uh, it says that when you when you drink apple cider vinegar each day, it produces more acid in your stomach. So you'll you'll lose like within a month like ten pounds. Just, oh, really? Just naturally because it produces that much. And you're supposed to take like a shot, mix it in with a glass of water, and have one each day. Yeah. Me, I was having a glass of water of it each day. Oh wow! Of fucking like vinegar, you know. So my like, I I could not keep anything down. I was literally like, it, it sounded like a fire hose when I yeah. went to go shit. It was just peeing out of my ass. Like, and but yeah. I bet you lost but, a lot. Yeah, of how much weight did you lose? I pounds I, I mean, month? fuck, I w- whatever water weight is spraying out of my ass. That's the that's the weight I lost. Like you know, you eat ten pounds of I don't know pizza and then it's just like water right away water well th- well that's you know what's funny is like at, at the same time i was trying to be like a ketogenic diet you know like no no bread no pasta no like baked goods and and the funny thing is because that sponge no is happiness so is that yeah. atkins it's the same thing as atkins just different name pretty much okay. yeah yeah and uh it, the funny thing was that i was trying to avoid all those things but with have having so much fucking acid, I had to have nothing but bread as a sponge. Yeah, it's kind of like when you have a hangover, mm. and I don't know. It was so. Anyways, I fucked up my stomach, and then I started getting anxiety because of my job was getting like out of control. And I went to a doctor. I went. I went to immediate care because my fucking insurance had issues, and I'm like, dude, like I think I have cancer or something. Because like, I didn't notice it until uh. So I went to an isolation tank, and they tell you, like, you know, try and uh, keep complete quiet when you float. So I tried floating just in my bathtub and meditating, and, dude, it sounded like Godzilla taking over a city, like, with the sounds bad. that my stomach is making. <laughs> I've, yeah, I've been down that road a couple of times. Never yeah. was a vinegar, but, you know, but definitely that, that is not fun. To, that's not Pro- fun probably to anxiety. Yeah. No, yeah. A bad stomach can just ruin your entire fucking day. Yeah. So I, w- I went to immediate care, and they gave me, like, this... um. It pretty much looks like those, you know, those cheap cowboy hats you get as a kid yeah. with a rubber band string. Mm-hmm. You get this hat that you shit into, and then they, um, you send it to a lab, and then they check like if there's any bacteria or blood or mucus, and and they're like, dude, you're like almost completely healthy, if not more. Like you're on the borderline of being completely healthy and very skinny. You must have lost weight, right? Yeah, you're a prime ready by that point, mm-hmm. right? Well, so I, I I think the same thing is happening with my mom though, because she like, I mean she 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 keeps uh she's one of those you know that old people epidemic where, you know one one thing happens like oh I have a pain in my leg so I have to read forty fucking articles of oh this may be like leg AIDS you know right. online oh no it's cancer yeah just like every time every time we look up anything on WebMD it's always cancer yeah. fatigue yeah uh, cancer are you breathing fatigue is, is your sweating? name Phil Doctor. are are you a shitty fucking parent. <laughs> <gasps> you got a hangnail? It's probably cancer. Yep. Yeah. I've been breathing. My my heart is beating. Cancer. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We got to see a different. We got to see a different. You know, source. Wait. Is your last name? Wait. Cancer. Oh my. <gasps> God. Oh, he's got the cancer. All right. Yeah. The internet is great. Well, it's driving me nuts because I'm trying to tell her to like, like you need to see a therapist, and it's so funny how much how quick she literally springs up like a cat toy. Yeah. Like where, like, uh, you know, Ma, I kind of went to this guy. He kind of like rearranged everything in my mind, kind of like a desktop on a computer where you re- organize everything and now everything is chill and relaxing. Oh, you know that something's burning in the, in the, in the kitchen. And it's like, we're in the fucking car. That's actually know? a very simplistic way of explaining therapy. Right? Yeah. So what are her doctors saying? Are they saying it's stress? They're, they're saying they don't know what it is. Well, well the first one was... Um, so the first one said it was ASL, which is kind of something like, or ALS, whichever. The, Lou whatever, Gehrig's Lou disease. Gehrig's, yeah. And when I looked it up, I don't know, maybe I got ASL or ALS mixed up, but it said something like where you you have facial defects, where you have like, where you kind of look like Andre the Giant. Uh, like and Stephen Hawking had ALS. Yeah. So it's like, what, there's how, no way was this his person... Face okay? Was his face okay? Yeah. No, no. He had oh. like a huge a underbite. Of, yeah, he had a droop going on and stuff Aww. like that too. He couldn't he couldn't sit up straight, I don't think, either. He was always kinda leaning off. Yeah. Yeah. He's just lazy. Yeah, probably. Fuck that guy. No, he's he even more lazy because he he's peace. dead. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, that sounded really insensitive <laughs> the way I said that. <laughs> don't worry, we're moving on to your mother next. But yeah. 
Um, she can yeah. fuck off. <gasps> I actually, uh, I found it funny that Stephen Hawking actually did a lot of voice acting for the The Simpsons and Futurama, but he, did can't, he? yeah, but he, but he couldn't talk. Yeah, right. Yeah, so he would literally. You can just like you can say Stephen Hawking's in your show just using Google Voice, pretty much. Yeah. Wait, that was actually him. Like that, he would go. That was actually him. That's really cool. Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh. At least you know he'd always do the same take and the same tone of voice every time. Mm-hmm. I wonder he, if he'd yeah. sue somebody. Like, no, that isn't mine. That you used. I said. I said is not as. Exactly. Yeah. And that was. That's totally somebody else. I'm suing you. Pretty much. Well, no, no, yeah. no. I am suing you. you. I am suing you. <laughs> You're just a wealth of voice actor knowledge. Pretty much, yeah. Is, is that on purpose? Is this a passion of yours? No, just random facts I know. I like a lot of random facts. Hmm. What's another one? Um, that there are, uh, there are at least 20 deaths a year from people from uh, left-handed people using right-handed uh, products. Hmm. And, really? Um, pa- there are at least uh, there are estimated four cases a year of people uh, dying while trying to put on their pants. So that's why hmm. I always say pants are dangerous. All right, keep going. Um trying to think here now. I'm, put, I'm being put on the spot. There are two cases in the world where a blowjob has led to pregnancy. Huh. Not talking hmm. about sucking the fun out of that one. <laughs> right? hey yo. Hey, yo. hey, all right. Yeah. Kevin's got fun packs and Is fun that like jokes. because it's like a threesome? Like, what? okay, just blow it into my mouth and I'll just lick it up into you. No, actually, um, it was... I actually looked them up. I couldn't... Can't explain exactly what happened. It was like a, it was like a medical phenomenon. Like she swallowed it and everything, and actually she still got pregnant. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, that's that's strange. Yeah, sure yeah. is. But interesting though. Anyway, we got on a tangent. The doctors say it might be ALS. Oh, uh, well, so yeah. So the first one said it's like ALS. We're like, how the fuck? Well, no. She told me the story. She's like, she's in the office, and he's like. What you have is, um, I forgot what the first thing was. She, she, I think I think he said you have a, uh, what was it? Well, I checked WebMD. Oh, oh he just said you have a stroke. And it's, uh, we're going to have to do some more testing, but you should be fine. And everything's going to go back to normal. And then she's like, how? How? I went to nine doctors. How the fuck is this normal? Like, you need to, no, can you just please double, triple check? And the doctor walks out of the room for 20 minutes, comes back. He's like, oh, yeah, it's ALS. You have two years to live. Oh wow! And and I, <laughs> she's like, that's complete bullshit. So she, so she's at uh, she actually just came back yesterday. Um, she was at Mayo Clinic in Minnesota, which I'm so fucking happy because her best friend in her whole life, me, my, my godmother, oh. lives in Minnesota. So I'm like, I really hope, because because like all these years she's fucking single, stressed out. I'm like, dude, they better went on a fucking dick spree. And got and got some of that right. stress out. Girls' you know, weekend, right? <laughs> I'm telling you, like, what the fuck? Like, that's the because she's a completely different person. Like, like when she's not working, you know. And I know I'm trying to. Like, I I don't know. It sucks, you know. what I mean, because like it's uh, how do you tell somebody to ch- chill the fuck out when they're like a workaholic or exactly, or, 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 yeah. they, or they don't want to accept that they have a problem, you know? Yeah, I get that. Yeah, I don't know. I I I, I maybe I maybe like. I don't know what the word is like. Sad, uh, biased, handsome? being cocky about my own skills <laughs> or <laughs> about my own skill, but but like no, like my therapist said, he's like, you got an amazing sense of self awareness about how the way you manage and can observe what people do and what I do, and and it's like it's a lot of it has to do with like how I've read about Taoism and how people balance feelings, yeah, spiritually and mentally. And he's like, like you don't understand that, like a lot of the population don't fucking even realize how they're acting. And it's funny because when she'd lose it, I'd like tape her and then play it to her later. She's like, "What the fuck was I on?" <laughs> you know, like <laughs> then she gets stressed out again, and then you yeah, show her right? the video, and it's just this vicious. Like yeah, cycle. like I, like I had a joke um, that that one time I, I was like, "Yeah, th- th- this is how I learned about Buddhism." So one day, uh, speaking of the coffee. Um, so I have to drink decaf cause that shit makes me tweak. Yeah. But I realized like I've been, uh, she got really mad when I would make, uh, coffee or de- decaf or use, her. I'd even make tea in that thing. She'd get mad cause you know, when you leave it and it burns, it leaves the rings on the yeah. bottom. So I just leave it there. She'd be like, no, you need to wash it now within the next two minutes. I'm like, I'll wash it by the end of the day. And she'd go nuts. So I was like, you know what? Maybe I'm being a dick. And I just went to a grocery store, bought her the exact same model. Yeah, and didn't unpack it. I just put it on the counter. So I guess maybe she didn't notice. So uh, I'm in my room, 
and I was uh, going to start writing um, a book. So I'm like, maybe I should meditate, maybe kind of like clear my head and like kind of like not have any moods influencing what I'm writing. So I'm like in Zen. I got like, you know, I'm on one foot. And then the other foot I have like near my knee, like that Zen pose. Yeah. And I'm doing my ohm chants. And she comes home. She sees that I'm cooking on her pot. So she rips the whole thing out of the wall with the hot coffee, throws it at me. While my and I'm like, oh, this is how I know I'm Buddhist because my whole chest is sizzling right now, and I'm still focused on my chance. That's very zen of her to do, right? Yeah, yeah, right. And, and, and a lot of people can keep that patience, <laughs> right? Yeah. And and you know the the best part about the book writing thing is Kelly bought me this uh, voice to text program. Yeah. Called uh, Dragon. Have you heard of it? Yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah, where it calibrates to your voice. Yeah. Well, it's so accurate that uh it played stenographer and picked up the entire all the ohms and then the argument all oh, right <laughs> so. <laughs> and there your book's done yeah yeah the, the, the book's done just publish it right who are you going to dedicate it to i think it'll be like an avant-garde haiku Ooh. you know because it's just a shitload of ohms and then just like where is my coffee what, what is, are you gonna, i'm throwing you off balcony <laughs> 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 Dude, the movie i can't wait for the movie to come out right uh, who do we who do we have play the characters? You know. Oh man, I, I have to have James Franco as me because that's what everybody cool says to play them these days. Yeah, probably a logical choice. Yeah. Yeah. Let me let me think. Maybe have Howard Stern play my ma. Oh, he, that he sounds like somebody who'd complain and bitch. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, It'd be know. a great acting challenge for him to play a woman. Yeah. Right. I don't know who's more offended by that. If your mother should be offended that he's playing her or he's. Yeah. Right. Um, Fuck, man. We'll have to edit that out. Yeah. Sorry, Howard. Yeah. 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 So, uh, and also, you were uh, sp- speaking of you were uh, you had a sex doll ball buster. Yeah, my mom used to work for Playboy, so uh, she used to get it home. She's a model. No, she was a merchandiser. She would she would uh, do uh, which so, page? Uh, no. uh, not that I would share that with you. <laughs> <laughs> Funny story. I used to people who uh, in school they would ask me, you know, what does she do there? I always told them that she was a pubic hair designer. Ooh. <laughs> Four years of art school. <laughs> Working on the curls, exactly those, those seventy, you know, large exactly. poofs. You gotta make it look like a bush. Yeah. Man. Um. But yeah, she was a merchandiser, so she get home a lot of random shit, and w- one of those random things that she's that she brought home was a sex doll. Sure. And mm-hmm. for the kids, exactly for the kids. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's it, why. It's like the old school ones, though, where it's like a inflatable, right? Yeah. Like a inflatable raft. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. I think she bought it for my dad for when he for when he was feeling lonely. Oh, oh I know. How how nice of him, That's right? Nice Sweet. Yeah, but uh, so I have a couple of friends over, and we're just drinking, smoking a little, smoking some. And my buddy, my buddy sees this sex doll, and I'm a virgin at the time, so he's just trying to give me sex lessons. He's like, "Yeah, you know, when your girl really wants it, you just tease her with it a little bit, you know, just just rub it on her, and then just and just pull it away, and the <laughs> girls that'll drive them nuts." I've later found out that's not true. <laughs> But anyway, did you accidentally pull the cap? Oh, that's the spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! But he's uh, he's getting he's getting really into it, just fucking with me. He's but when a girl really really wants it, you just slam it right into her and take it right back out. She'll go ha ah! very very fast. I'm like, oh really? But when a girl is fucking really really nuts, you gotta fuck her against something. So he goes to my refrigerator I had in, my, in there, and literally is humping it against. Against the uh, against against the refrigerator, but like you would think it would dip down lower, yeah. but somehow it was bouncing off the refrigerator. So I get up and start yelling at him, Gary, Gary, you're gonna bust my mom's sex doll, which I, a sentence I never thought I ever had to say in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, "Oh fuck you, Kevin!" And he starts running around with it, and they had these hard plastic fetish feet that somehow one of the feet just went around in a circle and shot me square in the fucking nuts. Oh. Oh. oh yeah, so then after this happens, I fall on my knees. My buddy drops the uh, drops the sex doll, laughing his ass off. My other friend takes off his shirt and his pants, puts a broom up the off the up the sex doll's ass, and starts walking around the yard like you know like like he's carrying a fucking pitchfork, That's going hi ho, hi ho. Dude, I I yeah. just realized after that pitchfork thing, I've been doing it all wrong. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Is that what the festival's all about? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I got a pretty natural fear of sex dolls now. No. Sure. Yeah, we're as, as we were moving out of our house in Lombard. That was uh, we we're cleaning up my mom's closet, and we and mm-hmm. we found it. We ended up disembo- We ended up cutting it all up and uh, 
leaving all the hands and legs sticking out of our garbage can. That's, to fu- to that's fuck with healthy. Our, to fuck with our garbage man. Sure. <laughs> yeah, that's good, man. Yeah, that's yeah, that's normal. That's good. I uh, I saw a cartoon recently. Um, because it was a like I was raising all these old Polish cartoons when my grandma was around, but I'm like, oh, I want to catch up on my speaking because everybody in my factory speaks Polish. Yeah. So I'm like. So I saw this cartoon. I think I mentioned it before about the, it's called Yesh Yezhe, which is just translates to Jerry the Hedgehog. Yeah. And it's about this hedgehog who smokes weed and gets drunk and he like fucks all these girls. And um his enemy is this guy who had his heart broken because uh he took the girlfriend he had a crush on yeah. in, when he, when they were 5. So like as they got older he became a Nazi skinhead. Hmm. So he's trying to get his Nazi gang after them. And the the way that they get back to the movies about the way they get back at him is they clone him as a zombie. Yeah. So he terrorizes the town. And one of the ways he terrorizes it is he goes to the local sex shop and he fills all the dolls with helium. So that it looks like, <laughs> like since it's Poland, they think yeah. like, Oh, another war is starting. Oh, it's just all a bunch of sex dolls. Floating I've over. seen something <laughs> like that online before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, this is a children's cartoon. No, no, this is, oh. this is like, this, it, 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 it is, like animation like a kid's cartoon but it's like rick and morty it's for yeah. adults okay it's funny though because it's like the animation looks exactly it, i i would not be surprised if it's the same one as uh flapjack yeah uh, yeah so yeah that's very cool i had a yeah speaking of sex toy, i had when, when i was in college um i really fucking hated my life there yeah because I, I did not want to go to college like my, my choice was like okay you're on the street broke all the locks are changed or you go to college so I went to college and um, I was going to go on a double date with one of my friends, uh, Sean, who knows me as Filthy Phil. I, don't, I think I should just keep going by Filthy Phil from now on. That's a pretty good one. Thank you, but, um, It's a good nickname. He, uh, we, we were going on this double date with like these two Italian chicks and they were totally like stereotypical, like fucking Jersey Shore, just broads, you yeah. know? And he's like, no, dude, he, like, like I, I'm, he's in the mindset of like, yo, we got to get laid. And I'm like still heartbroken over an old breakup so i'm like i don't give a fuck about these bitches man fuck them and we they invite us into their room while they're showering i'm like oh here watch this watch this and i'm like i wanted to because i was already really drunk so i wanted to like uh just kind of piss them off by putting their panties on my head yeah (laughs) and I, i go through i'm like oh fuck i found her vibrator yeah and the oh my god this is so bad I wanted, I'm like, dude, take a quick picture of me. She's almost coming out. And I pull my pants all the way down, have my boxers on. I was going to pull my boxers down, but I saw her coming out. I'm like, here, make it look like I'm I'm using the vibrator on my asshole. And he takes the picture. I'm like, all right, we're going to post this on her page. The picture got shared a shitload before I realized what the joke was. And the joke was that my sack was hanging out like three <laughs> inches down. <laughs> so the joke was on me. <laughs> so. So yeah, that 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 we, we never went out after. <laughs> I would say not. Yeah, that uh, really f- killed your chances on that one. Yeah, right. Who the fuck? All right, anybody looking for a three-inch sack? This guy right here. All right. I've got a I've got a friend whose mom works for Playboy. If you want me to make the introduction, we can make a career out of this. Yeah, I mean, those sex th- th- those sex dolls today yeah. are fucking insane. N- I mean, are they? Have you see- have you seen some of them now? No. <laughs> Like, like like the virtual the the ones yeah, that I've like fucking them, yeah. computer nerds are making like yeah like what thank God for the nerds like that no like like some of them are pr- they, they look exactly like, like legitimately a fucking human. real yeah I think really? they have like really molded like human teeth yeah and then uh, some of them actually have a pro like you program them on a skill level yeah like if how to play them hard to get so it's not like just like it's like oh do you want to be a fuck buddy. Or is this hard to get? Or do you want this to be a rape? You know, like <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, man, that's fun. Yeah. Whatever happened to just looking up stuff on Pornhub? Right. Yeah, come right. on. I mean, come on. That's right. I um, I think we should take a quick break. Okay. And then when we come back, I think Kevin, you brought some games. I did. I brought I brought a game of a book of Would You Rather questions. Okay. All right. Very good. And a game called Super Fight, where two we argue over which characters would fight to a, would win in a fight to the death. Okay. Well, okay. would you rather do would you rather questions or Super Fight? That's uh, up to you guys. Ooh, we'll find out when yeah, we come we'll back. Ooh. <laughs> We 
we are back with Hear Nothing, See Nothing, Say Nothing. Please subscribe. Love to Ireland. That's I right. I live in Ireland, right? Exactly right. Um, Ross is on vacation. Um, I'm not supposed to mention. He's actually at a uh, focus group. Or not not a focus, kind of like a group therapy of anybody who's anti-Semitic. Uh, forced so. labor camp, I think, yeah. is the, yeah, yeah. the right word. Mm-hmm. Isn't he at a wedding? Uh, I'm not sure. He 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 had like a selfie, and I just saw in the back it said like hard work will set you free. Oh so, God, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Man, I, hope you, I, I really hope he's able to concentrate <laughs> at this camp. Oh my God, you yeah. guys are terrible, terrible people <laughs> through and through. Uh, today's episode, just a quick shout out to our sponsor, is uh, Capri Sun. Uh, they make juice, they put it in bags, and for people, some reason, it's a product. Personally, people. I think High C is better. Well, does High C come in a bag? No, it comes in a. It's actually a juice box. That's not a juice box. That's a juice pouch. So I think what you're trying to say is, and you can pop the boxes. Well, I think a pre is just too. Probably just can't afford boxes. Probably. Yeah. So if I ask you, would you rather drink juice out of a box or a bag? You would say a box. A box. But about- but you could hook up a pouch to your bloodstream right away. That's true. That's true. I don't know. Uh, well, that's why I like. That's why I always stick to morphine pouches instead of morphine boxes. <laughs> Capri Sun makes morphine. They're going to eventually, probably. Oh, man. But Prob- what? But Patent pending. <laughs> <laughs> but High C is made by that awesome, cool Green Ghost. That's true. That's true. You guys are thinking outside the box. <laughs> oh. Uh, you guys ready to play a game? Yep. We're gonna play a uh, Would You Rather, the outrageous book of bizarre choices. Uh, I guess it's. I'm just gonna pick a random page. Random page. Yeah. Drink the water from the hot tub after a fraternity party, or drink Mexican tap water. Ooh, tough call. Uh, drink what? Mexican tap water. Yeah, I'm going to say the tap water yeah, too. Yeah, same here. I'm kind of. I don't really feel like drinking other people's pubes. Yeah. Right. Or and well, plus aren't there like chemicals like chlorine? Like. Yeah. And, and what do you hear? Like. I mean, let, let's be on. Let's be blunt. Okay. Bro, you know sweat or Mexicans. Oh, well, I'm you know. like. Other fluids and things well, in the hot so tub. I would the Mexicans would the Mexican tap water be a little spicier and come with tortillas? I was gonna say that. Yeah. I mean, I'm thinking. It, I heard there's a lot of parasites. So to me, mm-hmm. I, and I like shrimp. Mm-hmm. So, so kind of. Yeah. yeah, that's perfect. And going back to your apple cider vinegar, I've heard that Mexican water will give you the runs. So if you're looking oh, to yeah, right? lose you some lose weight, weight, vinegar yeah. free on that Mexican resort getaway. Yeah. Um, right. So perfect. Cool. The am council sp- has decided. Am I supposed to read the rest? Doesn't matter. Uh, That's uh, ju- those are just random facts at the bottom. Oh, really? There's facts. Yeah, there's yeah. facts. What do they say? So, first one is Legionnaires' disease, tuberculosis, and herpes germs have all been found in hot tubs. However, the most common bacterial infection contracted in hot tubs results in an untreatable red itchy rash that lasts for about ten days. The rash is often accompanied by a sore throat, sore eyes, chills, fever, nausea. And cramps. I'm happy we went with the Mexican yeah. tap yeah. water. Here's actually a fun fact about about most pools. I know the guy with the facts over here. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the smell you usually associate that chlorine smell with uh, public pools. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's actually the smell of your ur- of people's urine and chlorine mixing in together. Oh, really? Yeah, chlorine actually has no smell. Oh, delicious, man. I know. Yeah, no, chlorine just gives you a headache. I think doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, like like Clorox. you know how your eyes get all red shot and stuff like that, yeah. and your skin always gets itchy. Yeah, that's because people pee in public pools. Oh. oh yeah. So that's how you know it's working. Exactly. I mean, I'm one of the very few people who has never peed in the public pool. Though. Yeah, liar. I never have. Yeah, I, don't I actually believe got you. in the pool to go pee. That's. I pee every time. I'll be honest. I yeah. I go to the pool just to pee. Yeah. Like if I have to go to the bathroom, I stop by the pool, mm-hmm. take care of myself, breathe in that nice chlorine smell, and uh, continue with my day. I actually found this video online. This guy. Uh, figure out some way to determine how much pee is actually in a public pool. Ooh. He saw an average of about 40 gallons of piss in it. In your normal, like, Olympic size? Olympic size pool and everything. Huh. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's something. Yeah. Is there a fun fact about the Mexican tap water, or was it just about... Uh, I just I, closed he, the book. He lost oh. the... Oh, come on. <laughs> Dude. I, um, I, w- when, I went to, uh, when I went to a hotel when I was a kid, Yeah. I... um. I did it just to be to see what would happen. Uh, I went to this. There was a sauna outside the pool, and it was like one of those where there's coals, but they're electrically heated up. Yeah. And I realized like there's all these old guys like, r- like squeezing out their towels on the coals so that it gets hotter because the evapor like the yeah. steam. 
So I peed on the coals, and the next guy that came in, like, couldn't fucking breathe, almost <laughs> passed out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Would not want to be in that sauna. No, not at all. You don't want to. You don't want piss steam therapy. No. No, I've heard it. All right, let me look up piss steam therapy facts in here. Right. Or let's hear another. Would you rather? You want it? Check sure, it? I'll do. I'll do one here. Show off your ability to read. Mock me. <laughs> oh, the. Um, would you rather suck pea soup from a biker's beard, or eat baby drool while the little tyke is is eating strained peas? Oh man, that's a hard one. Biker yeah. beard. I'd say probably biker beard, because kids got germs. That's true. And bikers have germs too. Oh, I'm just comfortable with bikers beards. Bikers are hot though, man. Oh, well, there's a joke in here. <laughs> uh, what's the difference between roast beef and pea soup? Anyone can roast beef. Huh. That's hilarious. <laughs> I don't fucking get it. Well, because you can't mm. pea soup like urinate. I guess so. I, I'm hey, kind of pissed off that he stole my joke. All right. Pygnophobia. The fear of beards. Huh. I used to have that when I was a kid. I'm yeah. not kidding. Yeah. I see you overcame that. Yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, you know what's weird? Like, most shit that I used to be terrified of, I fucking love as an adult. Like, I used to be afraid of the Aliens franchise, and yeah. I fucking love it now. i never seen any of those movies. Oh, man, they're I love them. I don't know. I, you, you know what I realized, though, too? I don't know if it's, like, maybe a Polish old-school thing, but, like, everybody that I talk to, they fucking hate anything sci-fi and love Westerns, and I'm, like, the complete really? opposite. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I, I, don't, I don't know what it has to do with. Maybe it's a... Religious thing too, sure. Because I was talking to some pretty religious people. Sure. Robots are an affront to God. Yeah, Pfft. the earth, oh. the earth is flat because the Bible says so. Like cowboy, right? Um, Jesus, the cowboy. Dude, what about space cowboys? Right. Think about that. That's a great song by Jamiroquai. Is it? Yep. Oh, huh. how does it go? I spend that a lot good, of, huh? Yeah, really good lyrics. Just yeah. Kevin, so you know you've never listened <laughs> to the podcast. I spend a lot of time trying to get other people to sing. Yeah. So yeah. it'll. I yeah no, it didn't click. I just put on the Jamiroquai play, playlist and I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't. I don't. I can remember. Okay. All right. You get a pass this time. Sorry, man. But if you're talking about anything else musical, Fuck. you have to sing it. I have to sing it. That's right. I'll keep that in mind that I won't I won't talk about anything to do with music. <laughs> well, I was going to talk about Behemoth, but that's going to be <laughs> every song, you know. See, Kevin, I always get people to sing. Oh, he did it. That's right. I oh, know. Wait a minute. That was Lamb of God. Here's Behemoth. <laughs> I hear uh, a difference. I, I hear a difference. wasn't going to say, but yeah, thank you. I, yes. yeah. I was embarrassed. Yeah. Spe- yes. So speaking, or, 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 or we're still doing Would You Rather, right? We are. All right. Uh, around and around and around it goes where it stops, right here. Would you rather eat a small can of cat food or seven lemons, including the seeds, pulp, juice, and rind? I've eaten a can of cat food. So, yeah. What so, you've done, so you live this one then? Yeah, man. It's, yeah. Because I, I was like, what the f-? Like, I was uh, concerned of, why can't you give, like, human chicken to a cat? Yeah. And I think it's whatever, hormones and shit that they put in when they, you know, factory farming or something. I think I'm going to choose a seven lemons, actually. Yeah. Really? Yeah. They didn't say how you have to eat them. I can, seeds, I would just, I would just eat and pulp and juice go in lemonade. Sure. And the rind you, you can use in, in like a lemon meringue pie. Yeah. I want to hear, how was the cat food when you tried it? Yeah. Uh, it was just really, um, I don't know what the word is to describe it. It kind of reminds me of like, you ever have, you ever have liver sure. when you make chicken soup? Yeah. Like just a liver. It's really, mm-hmm. uh, so bad is the word you're looking yeah. for? <laughs> Ta- it, it's really bloody. Like, like it's got a blood taste. Have you ever had like blood sausage? Yeah, yeah. It, I it imagine it tastes kind of gamey. Yeah, it's, I'm. I'm not concerned about how it tastes like. I'm more concerned about why you ate it. Oh yeah, because I because I want. I'm like one day I'm like, well, what the fuck is the difference if, you know, I'm eating uh, some, you know. What, Harold's fried chicken and my cat's like whining on my shoulder trying to have some. I'm yeah. Like, this is not the same thing as yours. All right, I'll try just for you. <laughs> and I had some like, like oh, this is. Oh, so you traded? You traded yeah, yeah. dinners like a lot right. of solidarity. Dude, I'll have some yeah. of yours if you give me some some of yours. Yeah, exactly. That's the kind of shit I do when I'm home alone. <laughs> That's worrisome. <laughs> you should spend a lot less time alone then. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> You're a stepfather. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. The family's here. No more chicken games. <laughs> right, yeah. God, God, here, here's your food back. And also, it doesn't say how big the can is. It says a small Exa- can. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know what I was thinking about? Because I, I, I've been watching a shitload of really ridiculous diet movies, like, uh, like you know, Super Size Me, mm-hmm. the, the sugar movie, the, the, or that sugar movie. That's what, Those things aren't that bad when you put them in a magic bullet. No. They'd go down pretty quick. What, cat food? Anything. Think about putting anything that like edible in a magic bullet, and 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 you just chug it; it would go down. You know, actually, I found out too that you will gain more weight if you don't make smoothies, because your body digests it different. Like if you ate a banana, compared to if you put it in a magic bullet, then it's differently because your body's using energy and and like tactics to digest that banana and, and creating juices, w- rather than when you blend something, you're just pretty much fucking drinking it. Huh. So what you're saying, you, it's better to not make a smoothie. It is you healthier. I don't, I don't know if we're talking about cat food or bananas right now. Sure. Well, I'm, put I'm it in a magic bullet. Yeah, right. Put them in together. I mean, when I make some smoothies for you know some asshole kids who are Catholic jumping in my castle, I put some pubes in there, and there that's you a go. lot healthier for them. Yeah, from the hot tub. Right. So, <laughs> we're, we're torn. We've got a lemon eater and two. Two cat food eaters. Do you, do you ever watch like a really geeky um, like cooking show and they ex- explain how like the like when you could put too much fucking lemon zest in something? I have not seen that. No, it's it's really really ridiculous. Wait, is this a common thing or is this one specific video? No, it's a common thing. Where, where it's it's like if you don't do it right, then the chef will fucking scream at you. Like every show. Oh, that, they, yeah. You just want to explain any any cooking reality show in general. Yeah, yeah, sure. pretty much. Gordon Ramsay show, yeah, oh, pretty much, that, yeah, and they just scream, yeah, they they scream like you know that feeling you get when like you watch a video of like a dog getting rescued and you're like, oh my god, I hope they do it, I hope they do it right, I hope they, do it. Yeah. it's like the same feeling watching them they, zest lemons, yeah, yeah, because <laughs> because they fucking like uh, you know when you have a cheese grater and there's the one side for parmesan, yeah, mm-hmm. they use that and like if you go too far then it's like exactly yeah. shit or something. I um I would love to see one of those cooking uh, reality shows with like the Swedish chef and the Muppets. Mm. Right, I think that'd be great. That'd be, yeah, I. You know what I was thinking about? Like, wouldn't that be not healthy for if you use any fucking zest because that's like completely doused in fertilizer? That's a good question, actually. I mean, I mean, I mean, imagine you're rinsing off these lemons, though. But oh sure. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, then couldn't you say that about anything grown ever? Although, well, no. Like when you eat ba- bananas, you just eat the inside. Or when you eat apple, well, if you don't peel, you know, if you pe- eat oranges, you just peel. You don't eat the outside. Sure, I don't so. know. Plus, lemons are grown from a tree, so it's not like fertilizer is being poured on it. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Would you rather? Would you rather eat fertilizer or not eat fertilizer? I think I'd go with the fertilizer actually. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. A guy my size usually doesn't choose not doesn't choose not eating. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. All right. We're agreed. Fat joke uh, upon myself. <laughs> Would you rather sleep with Fred Flintstone or Barney Rubble? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Barney Rubble, because Fred would totally make you bottom bitch. True. He, yeah. yeah. What about you? I'm but, going with Barney. I think his hands are probably softer and gentler, and he just seems more loving. I, everyone always says Bernie. I say Bernie too, because you know he'd want to cuddle. That's right. Right. Yeah. But you would get some splinters, because he's in that fucking bark. That's true. Costume, you know. Ooh. Well, uh, you need to like cut, drill a hole where his butthole is, you know. And well, also, like Fred's Fred's kid is way cuter than Barney's. So if you're taking it like a step further, how big's the bed? You know. Yeah. True. True. Is there a fun fact? Just don't, that don't. Oh, that was just a random, just one on top of my head. Oh. Where, <laughs> where, <laughs> point is, wear a condom if you're going to come in his mouth. That's right. That's what we got to learn from this. Yeah, how many cases? Two a year? Two a year. Uh, well, no, no, two in history. In history. Does that include prehistory? I don't know, actually. And you know what? Barney, it'd be more romantic because he's not going to be obnoxious and scream yabba dabba do. Exactly, during the yeah. But I would I would kind of take that as like a feeling of success if I got Fred to scream yabba dabba do. Oh yeah. With my rompous lovemaking. Yeah. Yeah. 
Because you say he'd make you the bottom bitch. He, oh, I'd make him my bottom bitch. Yeah. You might not know this. I'm kind of a big deal in the sack. Hmm. That I heard. Yeah. When you're not getting kicked in the balls. Exactly. But, exactly. Um, I've been kicked in the balls so much I have no feeling down there. So I'm able to... <laughs> <laughs> There's no sensation whatsoever, dude. W- when I was in a Chicago day camp, we um, this is like when WWF was getting fucking huge. Yeah, like it's prime peak t- Undertaker, Stone Cold. Oh you know yeah, talking about it, like uh, Degeneration X and everything. We we'd set up like all the like nobody fucking wanted to play dodgeball because that shit hurt. <laughs> like, yeah. So and then no- nobody wanted to like I I don't know. No, nobody wanted to play anything else, like uh, Duck, Duck, Goose, like all these, like when you're 12 and you think all these things are dumb. So mm-hmm. everybody set up all the gymats and we did wrestling and you, the counselors would get in too or they'd be refs and like everybody can pick their character. You can only pick one character. And oh my God, I was so fucking pissed. Because when you're a kid, you can actually go all out because you weigh less. So you mm-hmm, get exactly. hurt easier. Like people were, ch- there were kids choke slamming each other, power bombing. And then, oh my God, the one kid who's the fucking son of, like, the manager of the day camp, somebody kicked him in the balls to where, to where his sack <laughs> bled. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> so he was crying, and, like, no more wrestling. It's like, oh, my God. I, I would hate – everybody fucking hated that kid. I wrestling. bet, yeah. We, my oh. brother and I just, just used to do that at my, my neighbor's trampoline. Yeah. Yeah, we'd always just sneak over to their yard when they weren't, when they weren't home <laughs> and play WWF on, on their trampoline. Kick each other in the balls. Pretty much, yeah. I almost broke my nose when my brother doing a uh, doing one of X Pac's old moves, the X Factor. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> so anyway, that Fred Flintstone Bonnie Burned Rubble question ruined a childhood memory of mine. So th- <sighs> thank you for that. You're, you're I, very welcome. I used to love, I used to love that show. <laughs> I just can't you know what makes the... it worse is that like picturing Fred the cartoon or is it John Goodman? Because I don't know, man. Oh God, which is worse? Yeah. Well, if John Goodman's in play, I'm definitely choosing Fred. More, better than Rick Moranis, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at least you know, at least John Goodman has a career. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. I mean, he was in the he was in the Big Lebowski. So come on. Yeah. Right. Oh, by the way, I love your uh, your Big Lebowski, your uh, time mirror in your bathroom. Right. Isn't that the man yeah. of the year? I love being called the man of the year while I'm taking a shit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's a perfect spot. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Very tasteful. Yeah, exactly. All right, I'll do one more over here. Let's do it. All right. Would you rather be a woman with a mustache or be a man with large breasts? I'm already both. Exactly. <laughs> it's 2018. <laughs> exactly. I identify as that. Are they assuming our gender? <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm a jure. <laughs> I, uh... And our next guest, Jordan Peterson. Is that it? He's having <laughs> <laughs> I think... I think I'd go with the breasts. I think I'd go with the breasts too, actually. Yeah, same. Yeah. It would fucking suck to be. I, th- I I actually got into an argument with a girl like a week ago. Some some girl like blurred. I forgot we were like waiting in some line, and she's like, "Yeah, there's a lot of girls actually who are who aren't shaving their armpits." I'm like, "Yeah, are they all fucking single? Because that shit makes you smell like onion rings." Oh, they're all just feminists. Yeah, right. I mean, no, no, ser- like you know, I, I. I I don't even give a fuck how feminine that makes me. I shave my fucking bits because that shit makes you smell so bad. Yeah. Like, I, I I don't know. I can't imagine that. Like, some uh, unshaved back. What, what are you going to draw, like, Rastafarian dreads from your <laughs> fucking pits? I don't know. It's, I don't think it's that bad. I think it's horrible. Uh, well. Once you start shaving, you start roughing up the hair. So, I've never shaved my armpits or my back. So, I've, I'm perfectly yeah. fine. But mustache tops it off though. You got you guys you guys agree on that, right? Hmm. Woman woman with mustache. What? Would not be good. Well when I'm thinking about it. So do you have to keep the mustache? Is it like a really thick like handlebar mustache? Or just like one of those ones you have like when you're like thirteen years old. Right. Or a dirty Sanchez. Or dirty Sanchez. Because I feel like it would break the rules if you could like shave it. Yeah, it's true. Right? Because then like obviously I don't know. Could you get breast reduction surgery? Would you want to? As a man? Yeah, hmm. this brings up a lot more questions. That's true. I feel like a man getting, uh, you know, there's like dick cheese. I feel a man would get like <laughs> breast cheese. You know, 
<laughs> there was a sh- there's a show I watched on Hulu. There's a character who's trying to make who's trying to sell cheese from from humans' uh, breast milk. Yeah, and they had yeah. that. At, they had some fucking hippie chick at a uh, Desert Days doing that. Yeah, she just had bottles hooked up to her tits. And then there was another chick who was selling a, uh, uh, what was it? Fuck what? Oh, she was selling bread with the yeast of her vag. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh. yeah, I want. What, what what season is the veg in? Is that uh you know that bread gonna be a little bit red and dyed? Yeah, some, some fairy bread, some puss yeah. bread. Oh God! So how many? How much did you buy? Oh uh, no, I I don't know. You ten. didn't ten ten no ten bucks says these people yeah. are vegans too. That's probably why they're all fucked up in the head. Yeah, when if they're making money on it, like good for them. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. like save money but on ingredients. I guess, but that's just a you to know that, no, to that extent. Just a prime example of why you don't trust vegans. Right? Yeah. Fuck those guys. Exactly. <laughs> well, no, they're making it. I don't know. They're making it from their breath. They're making food from their own body. Would they be? Would they still eat it if it's from their yeah. own body? Because it's technically an animal. It is an animal byproduct. byproduct. Yeah. Because we're a mammal, so they probably wouldn't. Exactly. So maybe they're not vegans. Maybe they're just yeah. fucked in the head. Actually, th- there was an argument because if it, if we don't cons- if vegans don't consider ourselves as animals, then that human lab meat. True. You know, would like we're we're gonna be only able to eat ourselves? Yeah, because we don't want to hurt plants. Oh God, no, not not those plants. We're gonna live in and and then all the, you know, lawn cares are gonna lose their jobs because we gotta live in like a jungle filled with like fifty oxes in your backyard. Exactly. Yeah. No thanks. It's gonna be great. I mean, it's gonna be like Jumanji. Be kind of adventurous, <laughs> you know. I kind of lost. What, how do what what <laughs> Jumanji? <laughs> yeah. The no back up. How we go from, like, breast milk and veggies? Oh, I'm saying because like if we can't eat plants, if 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 if, if vegans would not want to hurt plants, and, and we're only because of like karma, we're only allowed to eat ourselves. And there's lab grown <laughs> meat that's human meat. Okay, we're only gonna be able to eat ourselves, so we're gonna be have yards that have like fucking ten foot lawns. Got you. And none of the animals are killed, so they're overproducing. So it's gonna be like Jumanji. In the not too distant future. Yep. Isn't that from a song? Probably. Now you gotta sing. Oh, beautiful. Oh, no. Uh, Kevin, you got another one? Yeah, you yeah. Wanna sure. Would you rather? Anything to stop you from singing. <laughs> You're a bully. Uh, that's what they call me, Kevin the, Kevin the bully. Uh, thank you again for bringing us donuts. That was really sweet of you. <coughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> I'll always give you a long, John. Oh, baby. I'm telling uh. Fred. <laughs> it's the only John that's here anymore. Okay. <laughs> Would you rather, after a 10 mile run, have to drink a gallon of hot coffee or a gallon of cream? Hot coffee, for sure. Because, uh, yeah, I got a story for that, bud. You guys. I think. I think I'd do the coffee. I think I would also do the coffee. Yeah. Have you ever drank a shitload of cream before? No. Yeah. What about you, Bill? No, I don't. I don't think so. Yeah, uh, I had that problem. <laughs> I uh, is that why your stomach was so fucked up? Probably your dude. apple cider vinegar yeah, and cream diet. Yeah, I'm fucking. <laughs> oh my god! Not not to mention, I like I, I I literally I can't because of that vinegar. I can't even have sriracha sauce because I just wait. Shit still, to this? still, oh. still. A good. That's a good thing though. Yeah, yeah. Sriracha is just awful. Oh my god! What? I hate sriracha. I hate you. Good. You know, you know, it's, you, you know up. that sracha in Polish actually means diarrhea. <laughs> Coincidentally, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> pretty accurate description of the hot sauce. All right, fella. But yeah, no, uh, me and Kelly went to. Um, okay, I had this thing that when I was a kid, I always had this idea that breast milk is gonna taste unbelievably creamy and unbelievably fucking amazing because I thought it's like, oh, it's richer, so it's gonna be like half and half, you know. And then along the line, when I got older, uh, I saw Tom Green drink milk from a cow's tit. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, man, I got to do that one day. Um, another skeleton out of the closet. I may as well. This is this is all about vulgarity from Filthy Phil. Um, I actually, when I was a kid, my aunt had a pump that she was trying to f- fill up uh, bottles for my cousin. Yeah. And I actually tried stealing one of them because I'm just like, oh, my God, that's going to be like fucking mess quick. <laughs> And, and was it? No, no, I didn't steal it. And thank God, because uh, that's pretty rednecky. First of all, <laughs> second of all, drink your aunt's tit milk. Second of all, fucking, uh, um, 
I heard it tastes like watery cantaloupe water. Ew. A- any huh. breast milk. Well, well, from a human. But um, anyways, so we go to this farm in Wisconsin, and and we're on this tour, and uh, the lady, like, we're going from, like, there's, like, oh, here are the sheep, here are the goats, and then we go to the milk place. So wait, and this is you trying to do the Tom Green thing? Yeah. Okay. Because I couldn't find I couldn't find any farms where like you can actually m- go up to the cow, milk them, milk your own milk, mm. and they give it to you at the end. Uh, I guess they only do it in Wisconsin. I, I don't know. It's some pasteurization sure. law or something. Yeah. So we went there, and um, the tour, I'm, I told the tour guide, I'm like, "Am I able to milk her?" And she's like, "Yeah." I'm like, into my mouth. It's like, uh, there have been people who tried it, but I don't. Uh, it messes with our insurance because it's not pasteurized, so you could get bacteria. So we're gonna keep the tour going, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink. Like, yeah, signaling me to do it. So then I went. I got an awesome picture. I, uh, <laughs> it sucked because I only got like a little drop. Uh, mo- the majority of it went in my eye because oh. <laughs> so, they're pretty uncontrollable sure. nips, you know. For sure. Um, and then so uh, I'm like, well, fuck. Like, I only got like, you know. Uh, tugging on those udders, y- you need to tug for like ten minutes just to get a glass or something. Like it's, yeah. it's it's not that much, but it's a lot. So fucking um, after the tour, they're like, oh well, we got this shop where this is all uh, our fresh milk here. If you want to buy some, and you couldn't milk it, so I buy. Uh, you know, we're, we're in Wisconsin. I'm like, it's totally gonna get spoiled by the time we get back to Illinois. So I bought just like you know those little Dean bottles. Yeah. Hmm. I I bought like that little. And we really need to get the fuck out of there. So I'm taking it. We're, we're like on the highway. I'm going like 80 miles an hour. And I just chug the thing. And I'm like, oh, my God. I feel weird. That is so fucking rich. <laughs> and I'm like farting every five minutes. <laughs> Kelly's and, crying. And, Gavin's crying. I, I'm telling literally every five minutes. And I'm telling Kelly, like, just throw it out the window. Just throw it out the window. She's like, no, no. I'm like. And then she takes it and she looks at it. She's like, how do you feel right now? And my stomach was like so bad. I accidentally bought fresh whipping cream. Oh God! <laughs> and and <laughs> no. according to the nutritional facts, I had like ten thousand calories in like five minutes. Oh, I believe it. Yeah. yeah. So that shit is heavy. Yeah. So yeah, hot coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Even with the anxiety, I think like you were mentioning, it gives you anxiety too. Even yeah. with the anxiety that we have, don't do cream. Cause no, <laughs> you will get like heart attack anxiety from <laughs> a gallon's a lot though. That is, but even yeah, still. Well, yeah, you hot can't coffee. chug a gallon of milk without throwing up. So imagine a gallon of yeah. cream would be the same thing. And when I think a gallon of cream, do you remember in basketball when he's trying to psych him out and he has oh. the sack of like oh, yeah. suction? <laughs> yeah, that's like, it's thinking. Leonard Nimoy's ass fat or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, he had a lot of pork. <laughs> <laughs> I actually used to pay uh, play basketball and uh, anytime I had a party at my house. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fun game to play. You know, when you have no alcohol or drugs sure. or anything. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Uh, nothing sounds like fun. No. You don't have weed or booze. <laughs> exactly. Well, I think I'd rather take a quick break and come back. Are we going to play Super Fight? Are we going to just chit chat some more? Well, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. yeah. You'll find out You'll when find we out. return. Oh, the mystery. <laughs> 